Hey YouTube, and today I'm doing a updated um, video on my Desire HD one, which I think I yeah I've already done one, and this is like an updated version. I was gonna do this a couple of days ago, but then um, tried installing another ROM, which was the updated Z version that was kept on crashing, and then my phone just messed up so to restore to. This back up, so here you go. So, first of all, this is much faster. You might not be able to notice this on camera, exactly much faster than the previous one. Camera using crap. And the reason that is because um, HTC have done a new update to the is I was at on HD which now puts them on Android 2.2.1 which is considerably faster and also got a newer kernel so that's that another reason it's faster is because of a new thing called data to ext and what this does is it puts your whole um, data partition of your device which is basically um, your games and stuff, all that, to SD card, to your EXT partition, which is like apps to SD, but it's whole data, which is like the data to all your apps as well. This speeds up the device depending on what memory card you have. I have a class 4 card and it's definitely faster. But sometimes it's slower, like when you're downloading apps from the Android market and I don't really downloading stuff but don't do that quite often so anyway. one place this is noticeable is the SD phone and storage settings you'll notice I have 1.61 gigs remaining of internal memory which is much higher than the normal desire that is because the whole data partition is on my uh, SD card and this also increase the um, IO of the device oops that's going that should go in a second it's a bit fine somebody calling now anyway if we go into quadrant find quadrant here yeah, somewhere you want a full benchmark and you should notice the Difference of devices. Show you the graphics card. And I'm also really going to be doing another video today, but this time on two iPod Touch themes. Just show you one of them quickly. Windows Phone 7 theme on my iPod Touch. And it actually has live tiles and stuff. And that's one of them. There's also an actual Windows 7 theme, which I'll be doing a video of that as well. So, <coughs> nearly finished. So, basically, um, normally with the device, I've showed one. Normally, with HEC Desire, um, you get re just above the Nexus one or just under. And what's it called? The device doesn't have. Um, that much IO score compared to like Droid X and uh, Samsung Galaxy S but with this since it improves the IO score we have a look at what I just got here it focuses I got around 2000-2005 I've got much more compile than this which I'll just show you in gallery Uh, where is it? Find it. I've got 2400 and people on XDA have actually been getting around 4000s depending on SD card. Let's see if in this one I've got 2000 and 2487 which is nearly double what the stock as I get when you first buy it from Android 2.2 and 
this is actually really really much faster because you just saw that smooth animation and yet it's only on one gigahertz just proof set of cpu so yeah it's a big difference with data to ext I think that's the only main difference with the new um, ROM thingy. Yeah, that's about it. Not much else I could say. If you are running a Desire HD ROM on your Desire or Z, you should seriously try the Data 2 EXT ROMs. It says you should use it with three partitions on your SD card. I'm only using one, which is well, two. It's the fat partition and the EXT partition, and it works just as smooth and just as stable. I've had a couple of power losses and it's been fine. I only had one force close, which was when my phone was just randomly bugging up. I think I was installing something. Yeah, I installed the Elixir app. Well, so yeah, you should really download this and make sure you get a data TXT version. Apps to SD is faster if you have a low um, class SD card. If you got like class 6 or above really, you have a data 2XT, class 4, you could try it first, see if you notice any difference. If you do, you should go with it. Thanks for watching this video and put thumbs up or whatever. It's fun. So, thanks for watching them. Bye.